Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we will talk about rational expressions and its operations. Specifically, it involves simplifying rational expressions, adding and subtracting rational expressions. By definition, a rational expression is a ratio of two polynomials with a denominator that is not equal to zero. It is defined for all values of variable except those that will make the denominator zero. The following are examples of rational expressions. 2ab plus 3a all over 3x squared minus 5x plus 6, 7x over 2y, 3 over a minus 5 over b, 5ax raised to negative 2, and others. Here, notice that the expressions are written in the form P over Q. 5AX raised to negative 2 can also be written as 5A over X squared. Since according to laws of exponents, when an exponent is negative, we can place that on the other side of the rational expression. On the other hand, the following are not rational expressions. 1 minus square root of X all over X plus 5. 2 third x over x raised to 3 over 2. Here we do not consider terms with fractional exponents and radicals as rational expressions, specifically if the variable in the radicand cannot be extracted. So after knowing what is a rational expression, we will now proceed to simplifying each of these expressions. This is very important because this will help us solving other operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of rational expressions. So generally, we say that if a, b, and c are algebraic expressions, then c times a over c times b is equal to a over b, where c should not be equal to zero. This means that rational expression is in simplified or reduced form if its numerator and denominator have no common factors other than 1. Also, when simplifying, you need to recall some basic concepts in factoring, like getting the greatest common factor of a polynomial, factoring quadratic trinomials, factoring difference of two squares, difference of two cubes, and others. So, for example number 1, Simplify the rational expression, negative 5aqb squared over 10ab raised to 4. Here, we first need to factor both the numerator and denominator. GCF, or the greatest common factor, is 5ab squared. So, for the numerator, that would be 5ab squared times negative a squared. Meanwhile, for the denominator is 5ab squared times b squared. Next, we cancel out common factors. Thus, the simplest form of negative 5 aqb squared over 10 ab raised to 4 is negative a squared over 2b squared. Second example, simplify 2x squared minus 6x all over 3x minus 9. Getting the common factor 2x of the numerator, that will be 2x times quantity x minus 3. Do the same in the denominator, common factor is 3, thus the denominator will be 3 times quantity x minus 3. Here, observe that the binomial x minus 3 is a common factor for both the numerator and denominator. Hence, we can cancel out x minus 3. The simplified form of 2x squared minus 6x all over 3x minus 9 is 2x over 3. Third example, Simplify the rational expression x squared minus 16 all over x squared plus 8x plus 16. Again, we need to factor both the numerator and denominator. In the numerator, x squared minus 16 is a difference of two squares. So its factors are x minus 4 and x plus 4. For the denominator, since it is a perfect square trinomial, its factors are the square of a binomial. In this case, that is x plus 4 times x plus 4. Notice that x plus 4 is a common factor in both the numerator and denominator. Thus, we can cancel out x plus 4. The simplified form of the rational expression, x squared minus 16 all over x squared plus 8x plus 16 is x minus 4 all over 
x plus 4. Last example, simplify the expression 3x squared minus 27 all over x squared minus 2x minus 3. So for the numerator, factor out 3 since 3x squared and 27 are both divisible by this number. Numerator will become 3 times quantity x squared minus 9. Here, notice that x squared minus 9 is, again, a difference of 2 squares. Then, we can still factor it out. Factors of the numerator are 3 times quantity x minus 3 times x plus 3. For the denominator, recall factoring a trinomial. Observe the second operation since it is minus or subtraction. We need to think of factors of 3 that when subtracted gives a difference of 2. So those are 3 and 1. Next, observe that the first operation is subtraction. And recall, the larger factor should take its sign. So here, the factors of the denominator are x minus 3 and x plus 1. After getting the factors of both the numerator and denominator, we will cancel out common expressions, and that is x minus 3. Hence, the simplified form of the algebraic expression, 3x squared minus 27 all over x squared minus 2x minus 3 is 3 times quantity x plus 3 all over x plus 1, or that is 3x plus 9 all over x plus 1. After knowing how to simplify rational expressions, we can now perform its operations. For addition and subtraction of rational expressions, we need to consider its similarity. Two or more expressions are said to be similar if those contain the same denominators. So in cases wherein the denominators are different, we need to convert the rational expressions into similar form. You can do that by finding the LCD or the least common denominator of the expressions. Recall, to find the LCD, you need to factor each denominator. Then express as powers any factor that occurs more than once. So if you have factors like x plus 1 times x plus 1, you will rewrite that as the square of x plus 1. Next, list all distinct factors that appear in any of the denominators. When same factor appears in more than one denominator, get the factor with the highest power. Then write the product of all these factors, then there you will have your LCD. Now to better understand this process, here is our first example. Add the rational expressions 3 over x minus 2 and 5 over x plus 2. In symbols, that is... 3 over x minus 2 plus 5 over x plus 2. In this example, denominators are already expressed as primes or there is no other factor. So we proceed to converting these expressions into similar form. For the first rational expression, we will multiply both the numerator and denominator by x plus 2. That will be 3 times quantity x plus 2 over x minus 2 times x plus 2. For second expression, we will multiply it by x minus 2 so that the least common denominator or LCD will be quantity x minus 2 times x plus 2. Adding the expressions, that will be 3 times quantity x plus 2 plus 5 times quantity x minus 2 all over quantity x minus 2 times quantity x plus 2. Now we will distribute the constants in the binomials of the numerator. That is 3x plus 6 plus 5x minus 10. Next, combine like terms. 3x plus 5x is 8x. Positive 6 minus 10 is negative 4. So the numerator will be 8x minus 4. Product of the denominator, x plus 2 and x minus 2 is x squared minus 4. Thus, the sum of the rational expressions is 8x minus 4 all over x squared minus 4. Second example, determine the difference when the rational expressions 3x over x plus 1 is subtracted by 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. So first, we will factor out the denominator of the second rational expression that can be written as the square of x plus 1. So in this example, LCD is 
quantity x plus 1 squared. We will multiply both the numerator and denominator of the first rational expression by x plus 1 so that it will be similar to the second expression. That will be 3x times quantity x plus 1 all over the square of quantity x plus 1. By distributive property, numerator will be 3x squared plus 3x. Then for the second expression, distribute negative since the operation is subtraction. That is negative 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. Combine like terms, we can cancel out 3x. Then 3x squared minus 2x squared is x squared. Then copy plus 1. So for the numerator, we have x squared plus 1. Take note that this binomial is no longer factorable. Thus, the difference is x squared plus 1 all over the square of quantity x plus 1 or x squared plus 1 all over x squared plus 2x plus 1. Third example, perform the operation 3a over a squared plus a plus 2a over a squared plus 2a plus 1 minus a squared plus a minus 2 all over a squared minus 1. Now, when given a set of rational expression like this, you need to simplify each expressions so that later it will be easier for us to solve. For the first rational expression, both the numerator and denominator has a common factor of a. When simplified, it will be 3 over a plus 1. For the second expression, its denominator can be expressed as the square of a plus 1 since that is a perfect square trinomial. For the last rational expression, we need to get the factors of both the numerator and denominator. Factors for the denominator are a minus 1 and a plus 1 since that is a difference of two squares. In the numerator, since the second operation is subtraction, we need to think of factors of 2 that when subtracted gives 1 or the numerical coefficient of the linear term. Factors will be expressed as some indifference since the second operation is subtraction. Now for the larger factor that is 2, it will copy the sign of the first operation. So here factors are quantity a plus 2 and quantity a minus 1. Notice that a minus 1 is common in both the numerator and denominator, so we can cancel it out. Third rational expression can be written as a plus 2 all over a plus 1. LCD for this item is the square of a plus 1. So solving or performing the operation, for the numerator, we will multiply 3 by quantity a plus 1, that is 3a plus 3. Then plus 2a minus the product of quantity a plus 2 and quantity a plus 1. a plus 2 times a plus 1 gives a product of a squared plus 3a plus 2. You may use FOIL method or distributive property in multiplying rational expressions. Next, change the sign of a squared plus 3a plus 2 since the operation is subtraction. Numerator will be 3a plus 3 plus 2a minus a squared minus 3a minus 2. Combining like terms for the squared term, since that is only negative a squared, then we will simply copy negative a squared. 3a plus 2a minus 3a gives a value of plus 2a. And then 3 minus 2 gives a value of plus 1. So for the numerator, we have negative a squared plus 2a plus 1 all over the square of a plus 1. Hence, the answer for this example is negative a squared plus 2a plus 1 all over a squared plus 2a plus 1. Thank you for watching. God bless.